yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And <laughs> Is this and, a first uh, for you? Yeah, this is a first for sure. So. Coming to Cobb County Police Department. <clears throat> Hello? Is there a buzzer? Is there a buzzer? Hello? Excuse me. No one's here. They haven't locked the doors yet. It's still very fun. Yeah. Someone should come. Hello? We basically have a YouTube channel where we go all around the U.S. and dive different rivers oh, and things cool. like that. We found about 13 guns under this particular bridge. Really? I found World War II mortars, swords. Oh so what's the plan, Adam? Be safe, find treasures, and uh... That's about it. Look super cool in our gear. We just put all of our gear on right near people so they go by and like, hey, you guys are cool. Yeah. Man, we are, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Look at all what's going on everybody welcome back to another brand new video of depths of history for those of you who don't know i started a second channel covering police interactions and going over them on video it's linked in the description below it's called depths of transparency it's going to be a great day i'm actually with my friend adam today and we're going to be scuba diving a bunch of bridges to see what we can find ready let's do this all right <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. All right, man. We'll see ya. Hey. Oh! I got a Samsung phone. <laughs> That's pretty cool. The golf ball. Look at that thing. I have no idea what this even is. Oh! Oh my god! Wow! Holy! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, this is some sort of rifle. Oh! What's wrong with this? Oh my 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe I just found that. Oh yeah, the magazine goes right there. Well, my dive is complete for today, you guys. So there's the gun. I just pulled it out. I can't believe that I was just able to find that thing. It was literally sitting right over there on the edge. I got out and I told myself if someone were to chuck something out there, it had to have been far in that area, general area over there. And that's where I found this thing. This thing is super rusted. I don't know if it's real. If we clean it up, it might have some serial numbers, but this is some sort of crazy, crazy gun. And someone definitely meant to pitch this off for a certain reason. I've never seen a gun like that. I know, I haven't either. I'm sure somebody in the comments will know. I'm sure someone will definitely know. That's We're definitely gonna call the cops on that one. Dude, we always find guns here. We always find guns here. Last time I was here, I found a pistol. And I went over to an area that I knew I hadn't been to in the past. And I mean, that is just, that is wild. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Man, definitely looks like we got a lot of sand in there. I did get this Alta little magnet. I got some sort of little, I'm not sure what this is. It's got some sort of screws on it. If you have any ideas, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, some sort of boom box, video player, a can. I also got a phone right there, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely a great day to get trash out of the river, and any time that we can pick up any cans or trash like that, it's always great for the environment. Did you get anything? I got a few cool things. You did? I think you beat me today. I beat you? Yeah, I think you did. This thing is insane. Look at this. I really, I don't know my guns that well, but I know that it's some sort of rifle. Maybe we think it's semi-automatic. Could be. But what we can see, there's numbers on the bottom. Yeah, there are numbers on the bottom, and they're completely legible. Chances are we can give the police a call and they can run these numbers and check out if this gun was either stolen or involved in the commission of a crime. So yeah, we're man. gonna give them a call right now and it's been a good day so far, hasn't oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah, you know, we thought this was gonna be terrible based on the conditions, but it cleared up and yeah. uh, you know, there's always something to be found. For sure, so let's go ahead and give the police a call, but that is an amazing find. Hey, I just wanted to stress that this is not an emergency. I came across some sort of semi-automatic rifle. It does have serial numbers on it. Um, I wanted to turn it in and see if I could get an officer out here to kind of check it out. All right, thank you. Should it stay on or let us wait? Hi there, um, I'm not sure who I got transferred to. I came across a semi-automatic rifle. Um, it does have serial numbers on it. I wanted to get an officer out here to, to pick it up, basically. All right, hold on just one second. Okay, sure, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do is I have to transfer you to Phoenix Springs. And it's check how to handle that. So I just transfer you to them so you can speak with them. All right, I mean, that's fine. I just want to get an officer out here to check it out. I don't want to just, you know, leave. No, I understand. I'm going to let my train to you. All right, thank you. This is Shaq. I'm not one. How may I help you? My friend and I were scuba diving. We basically cleaned up the environment looking for trash, and I came across a semi-automatic weapon of some sort. I just wanted to get an officer out here to see if they could claim it. They transfer you over to us, but that particular part is handled by the city of Roswell, unfortunately. Uh, I know, I just, I need an officer to come out here to grab this gun. All right, sir, I'll send an officer to that parking lot. Thank you, appreciate it. Gosh, I, I don't know if you guys saw the previous episode, but I found another revolver here and we wanted to get an officer out as quickly as possible. You know, we ended up waiting two hours out here for the officer. So it just kind of makes me frustrated because they're like, oh, let me transfer you to this person. Let me transfer you to that person. This is not in my jurisdiction. You know, they're just trying to get that weight off their shoulders so that they don't have to deal with the situation. I don't really agree with that, but we're going to wait for the officers to come here. They're going to take care of the situation and hopefully this goes as quickly as possible. Hello, this is Brendan. 
Hey, right, you go Brittany, please? Hey, this is Britton. Yes. Oh, Britton, I'm sorry. I've got a call. It's Brittany. My name is Ranger Sills. I'm supervisor over here at the National Rural, uh, Park Service. How can I help you, sir? Hey, um, I'm not sure what this uh, confusion was. I didn't get a firearm stolen. I found a, an assault rifle weapon. So, oh, okay. I, I don't know who got confused with that. I've been transferred to like five different departments. Uh, it's been kind of a mess. And I called about an hour and 30 minutes ago, tried to get a deputy out here to take the gun. It does have serial numbers on it. And I had someone call me back about, I had a stolen firearm. Like this information is just not being passed down correctly. Oh, oh okay. Bear with me, sir. I'm this, I was told this is a Brit, this isn't Brittany. It's B-R-I-T-A-I-N. And what type of rifle is it? I have no idea. Uh, I could send you a picture if you want, but I, I'd rather have an officer come out here to take it because I don't want to have this, you know. Okay. Just like keep oh, it. Yeah, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Alright everybody, so we just gave the police a call. Uh, we're gonna wait for them to come out and basically address the situation. So listen, man, and I'm not making excuses here. We're really short staffed today. So what I'm gonna ask you to do, uh, you said your name was Britton? Yes. Um, is you're gonna have to drive that up here um, to our headquarters and turn that in as found property. I just don't have the resources right now to send an officer down there. It's gonna be about an hour and a half before someone can get down there. I mean, could we just drive to the police department, the police station, and give it to them there? That's fine as well. All right, perfect. I'll be over there in about 15 minutes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Adam. I, I don't understand literally what is going on. It's uh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, this man. is the first for me, man. We haven't ever had to like go to the police department to turn in a gun. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I really don't know. This should be interesting because we're gonna have to walk in, and you're in your dry suit. And we're gonna have our <laughs> cameras. We're not gonna walk in with the gun, but yeah, we're about four minutes away, so should have answers here in a second. All right, so we made it to the precinct. So. You gotta walk into the police department and basically just tell them about what we found. <clears throat> Hello? Is there a buzzer? Is there a buzzer? Hello? Excuse me. No one's here. Yeah. Someone should come. Hello? We've been talking to Cobb County Police Department for about like two and a half, three hours, and we basically were trying to get them to come over and retrieve a firearm that we found in the river. So we've got it. They basically told us to drive it over the, to your precinct because they couldn't, they didn't have enough time for an officer to come out there. So okay. uh, where's the firearm? It's over here in the truck. Okay, this is my right. buddy. Uh, give me, give me one second. I'll be right back. I'll okay, we're in the red, we're in the red truck right to the left over. Yeah, there. I'll meet you right out. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So she said she'll meet us right out here. Seemed like she's in kind of a chipper mood, so. Appreciate it. Yeah, Looks like it's got some serial numbers on the bottom. I didn't know if you guys would be able to get anything off that or I don't know. That's that's gonna have to be the the labs problem. The labs problem. <laughs> All right. And that's how easy it's supposed to be, you guys. Literally didn't take but five seconds. She didn't even ask for my ID, so I don't know. I call it a good day. We were able to turn in what we found scuba diving. I've never had that much difficulty turning anything into the local police. And today, I mean, it, you, you saw the video. I mean, it just got so misconstrued. The information just got completely misconstrued. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but it was a great day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys on the next adventure. I don't know, I think that's, I, this is, we've been live streaming for 80 minutes, man. 80 minutes, that's crazy. Way longer than we expected. For sure. But, How's it going? Uh, how are you? Doing well. <laughs> are you still recording on yeah. your GoPro? <laughs> yeah. So, time to go.